Hello and welcome to Nursing 101 with your favorite anchor, Mike. And today we have a very interesting story with a mother named Jerusha. Come up here, Jerusha. All right. Jerusha's kid has six toes. Why don't you tell me, why don't you tell me what that's called? What is it? So the condition is called polydactyly. Um, uh, so my son is 18 months old. His name is Tommy. He, he uh, has an older brother and sister, but they do not have it. He recently had surgery, and the surgery site's still a little swollen and red, but the extra toe's now completely gone. We didn't think it was that big of a deal, but we consulted with the doctors, and they thought they'd just go ahead and remove it before all the nerve and growth development happened, and we wanted his shoes to fit. Well, That's thank you very much, Drusha. Looks like things are working out very good for you. All right, we've got um, Nurse Chase. Come on up here, Chase. He's going to educate us a little bit more Hello, about everyone. the condition. Yes. So um, there's there's two forms. We have polydactyly and syndactyly. So polydactyly is when you have the presence of an extra digit. So that might be on your toes, or it could also be on your fingers. And the same thing with syndactyly, but the, the difference is that instead of an extra digit, you're going to be you're going to see more of the webbing. So that that there's a difference between that. Okay. All right, are there any cases where somebody might not be able to have surgery or wouldn't want to? Um, well, what we find most often is that, um, you know, when when the baby is born, um, that, you know, it's it's obvious. It's something that you're obviously going to see. And so we uh, we usually um, consult with the family to see what, what, what is their preference. And so in some cases, you'll see families that choose not to, and that might be more related to financial issues, but you might in, in many cases see that they, they ought to actually have the surgery. And so in surgery, we're going to either remove that extra digit or, you know, just cut down the webbing so that way everything will look normal with time. And of course, there's a healing process that goes with that. And then, you know, usually we also will end up prescribing antibiotics so that way, you know, they don't get an infection from surgery. And, you know, there's, there's things that go along, you know, with, you know, risk and stuff like that. But most of the time, it's, it's easily correctable. Um, and it, another thing that I would like to educate, you know, families that have this is that um, there's nothing that can really prevent it. And it's a big con it's a congenital anomaly. And so what that means is that um, it, it, it occurs in the fetus when um, the, the developing fetus. And so there's nothing that the mother can do to prevent it. But we do see it uh, higher frequency among Afri African-American cultures. And, um, yeah, and I think that's all the information I have for you right now. All righty, big thank you to Chase. Okay, and um, tune in later for another mother named Katie, and her son has a third nipple.